Hello, good evening. Hello, Edna. Hello, Karen. Hello, Paola. Hello, Alexandra. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Good evening. How are you, teacher? Very good. Thank you. And you? How are you? Teacher, usted no pasa lista. No, in this um, in this program, it is not necessary. But I take an, a screenshot of everybody who is connected. At the end of the class, I take an, a screenshot to see who was in the class. Okay, thank you. Hello, Karen. Hello, Alexandra, Paula. How are you tonight? Okay, yesterday topic. Yesterday topic, we were studying future tense using the structure going to, be plus going to. So we use this to talk about our future plans and we were talking about the weekend plans. So do you remember some of these sentences? Weekend plans, what are some of your weekend plans? What are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? That was yesterday topic. So we say, I'm going to, and I'm going to, plus the activity we are going to do. Good evening. Hello, Bayro. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I am fine. Okay, that's nice to know that you are fine. Then let's see, Byron, which are some plans that you had for the next weekend? What are some plans that you had for next weekend? My plans for the next weekend. Yes, using yesterday structure, we say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? This was the question. And then we say, I am going, I am going to, and then you add here the plans. Pupusas. Okay, excellent. So I am going to eat pupusas. Very good. What are your favorite pupusas ingredients? Means and cheese. Okay. Pupusas. I'm going to eat pupusas. Very good. Any other plans? What are you going to do? Any other plans? So you say, I am going. I am going to. Anyone? What are you going to do? What are you going to do next weekend? Any answer? Any plan? Do exercise. Okay, thank you. I am going to do exercise. I'm going to do exercise. Any other? The last one. I am going to. I am going, going to dance. Thank you so much. I am going to dance. Thank you. Any other? I'm going I'm to visit going my family. Thank you so much. I'm going to visit my my family. Family. The last one. I'm going to wash my clothes. Okay, I am going to 
and say watch. Ah, watch, watch. Wash my, my clothes. clothes. I'm going to watch my clothes. Okay, so excellent examples. So today Teacher, we're going. Yes. Eh, en el módulo pasado yo dije una oración con así ese verbo wash my clothes, pero me dijeron que ahora ya casi no se utiliza, que se utiliza laundry. No sé qué tan cierto es. Um, okay, um, wash my clothes is when you wash it uh, using your hands, right? And laundry is when you, you take your clothes to the laundry. To do the laundry, cuando usted lleva su ropa a la lavandería, that is laundry. O ocupa una lavadora. And wash my clothes means that you're going to wash it using your hands. A manito. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, quería salir de esa duda. Thank you. Okay, any other question? No more question. Let me ask you something about the platform. Do you have any problem? Any difficult exercise on the platform? No. No, todo bien hasta el momento, teacher. Todo bien, teacher. Okay. ¿Cómo van con los ejercicios? ¿Ya comenzaron? Sí, ya terminé el primero. Solo tenía duda en la que le envié. Pero es que no entendía por qué lleva not going to do. Oh, ok, let me see that exercise. I'm going to share with um, you. Olvide que cuál es... <laughs> Eh, la, la que le envié eh, el primero es the last exercise I guess it's the last item of this part sí. es, yes, a second. es el que está después This one. Sí, yo creo que es ese. Sí, es ese. Ok. En el B. Is this one? No. Which one? Which one? Which one? Es ese, esto, esto, esto. Uh, this one, I, I don't know. Es. Okay, I don't know. Yo sí, no sé. Por... Es una oración negativa, entonces lleva el no después del verbo to be. It's like this one. Not. I'm not going to, to do. do. Not going to do. La oración nos quiere, I'm not going to do anything special. Mm -hmm. Anything special. Oh. I'm not going to do anything special. Yo me estaba yendo por el primer ejemplo. Por eso es que no lo entendía. Ah, ok. No problem, right? Pero sí, ya terminé la uno, toda. Ah, ok. That's perfect. Congratulations. ¿Alguien más ya terminó esta sección? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. That's excellent. Congratulations. Sí, yo también. Ay, right, that's sí, nice. Teacher. Ok, very good job then. Bueno, no olviden que pueden ir viendo su progreso, ¿verdad? Aquí hay una fichita donde dice progreso. O oh, progress. If it is in English, in your platform. And you are going to see a graph. Usted va a ver un gráfico donde va marcando sus avances. ¿verdad? Eh, es este. Como todavía no he avanzado en ningún ejercicio, no está marcado nada. Pero acá tienen... Que okay. van a ir creciendo las barritas, ¿verdad? Homework one, homework two, homework three. Aquí se van a ir marcando las barritas y aquí está el porcentaje. ¿Cuánto necesitamos para pasar? Llegar a este 80% que está acá. Cuando realice su examen, acá le va a aparecer la barrita de cuánto se sacó, ¿verdad? Midterm, en el final exam. Aquí puede ir viendo su progreso. Vaya haciendo los ejercicios y revise acá que le marque que va avanzando en la plataforma. 
Any other question about this? If not, let's start with tonight's topic. If you don't have any other question, let's go with tonight's topic. Tonight, we're going to speak about birthday plans. So here we go. I'm going to share with you the presentation. Let me know if you can see it, please. Te solicito permiso. Okay. Here we go. This is the topic for today. Birthday plans. Are you going to celebrate your next birthday? Van a celebrar su próximo cumpleaños. Who is going to celebrate next birthday? His or her next birthday. Are you going to have a party? Van a tener una fiesta. Are you going to decorate? Are you going to buy a piñata? Are you going to give sandwiches? What are you going to do for your next birthday? Are you going to go to the beach? Are you going to go shopping? Are you going to invite your friend? ¿Qué van a hacer para el próximo cumpleaños? So we are going to discuss that tonight. Here we go. Let's start with this vocabulary. How do you call this in English? Cake. Okay, birthday cake. And what about this one? Music. Uh, <laughs> okay. Music. Lead music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lead music, mariachis. Mm. Okay. ¿Ya les han dedicado una canción? ¿Ya les han llevado serenata? Of course. Ah, okay. Yes, of Very course. good. Gemma. <laughs> okay, let's see the next. The next one is this. How do you call this in English? Gloves. Oh, no. That is in no. Spanish. Balloons. Mm. We say balloons in English. Color okay, balloons. balloons. And what about these? Champagne. Yes. <laughs> champagne. Champagne. Solo para el cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Mm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what about this other one? Go out for dinner, right? Or go to a restaurant to celebrate restaurant. your birthday. Okay, here are the names. So we have cake, balloons, champagne, a reception, and live music. So do you like these things in a birthday, in a birthday party? ¿Les gusta tener estas cosas en la fiesta de cumpleaños? Yes. Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, let's see the other one. Uh, we have this, present, piñata, snacks, food, and also candies. Candies. Candy. Do you like candies? Do you like candies? Yes, teacher. Chocolate? No. Do you like? No, really? Yeah. I like chocolate. No, but candies. Okay, they are unhealthy. They are unhealthy. Pero un poquito no hace daño. El problema es el exceso. If you eat a lot of candies, you are going to have some health problems. So chocolate, do you like chocolate? Yes, I like it. Yes, yes, I am. No, teacher. No, really? Really? Okay, no well, like the chocolate. Um, okay. I like the chocolate. No, like the candies. I like the candies. Okay, that's excellent. Look at this. Um, hair serum. Cookies. Do you like cookies? Yes. Okay, excellent. Food. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? My favorite. My favorite food is spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay. 
My favorite food is Chinese food. Sure. Chinese, Chinese food. My favorite food is Chinese food. Any other answer? What is your favorite food? My favorite, My favorite food is fish. Okay, thank you. Fish. How do you say relleno de whiskey in English? Oh, with stuff, oh, with skill, it's like stuff. It's like this one, it is in the chat. Uh, my favorite food, pollo campero. Okay, campero chicken, pollo campero. Stuff, it. it's like this chicken, one. Chicken campero. <laughs> <laughs> campero chicken. Pollo campero, that's nice. Uh, what is the best present that you have ever received? ¿Cuál es el mejor regalo que alguna vez ha recibido en su cumpleaños y your birthday? Money, money. Ah, ok. <ríe> money. Ese es el mejor regalo, ¿verdad? porque usted se compra lo que quiere. Ya, yeah, nice. hombre, la money. <ríe> <ríe> oh, ok, money. Let's, do, let's go with this. So, let's see my birthday plans. We can use uh, the expression going to, to talk about our birthday plans too. So you say, I'm going to have a party at my house yard. I am going to decorate. I am going to buy some balloons. I am going to bake a cake. I am going to buy some snacks. I am going to invite my family and friends. I'm going to have some wine and champagne. I am going to serve chicken and meat with rice and salad. Uh, people are going to get me present and good wishes. So that is the best part of a party, right? The present and also the good wishes. And that you are with your family and with your friends. So here are some plans. Any volunteer to read the first three plans? Who wants to participate reading the first three sentences? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. I'm going to have a party at my house yard. I'm going to decorate and I'm going to buy some balloons. Thank you so much. Any volunteer to continue reading the next three sentences? No volunteers tonight. I am going to bake a cake. I am going to buy some snack. I am going to invite my family and uh, friends. Thank you so much. And the last volunteer to read the last three sentences. Who wants, who wants to participate? Me. Thank you, Carla. I'm going to invite my family and friends. I'm going to have some wine and champagne. I'm going to serve chicken and meat with rice and salad. People are going to give me present and good wishes. Thank you so much. Invite. I'm going to invite my family and friends. The rest, very good. That was excellent. Any new vocabulary in these sentences? House jar. What's the meaning of that? House jar. Patio. Patio de mi casa. Patio trasero. Ok, el patio, patio de, de mi casa. Patio de mi casa. La fiesta va a ser en el patio. I'm going to have a party at my house yard. And bake a cake. What's the meaning of that expression? Bake a cake. Okay. Iré a comprar un pastel. Ok. Oh. Not in this case, I'm going to bake a cake. El verbo bake significa hornear. Beatriz, do you have a question? Hornear un pastel. Yes, I am going to bake a cake. Yo voy a hornear un pastel. Beatriz, do you have any question? Uh, no, solo iba a decir eso. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. 
Then let's go with this. Think about your next birthday celebration. ¿Cuándo va a ser su próximo cumpleaños? And are you going to have a birthday party? When is your birthday exactly? And what are you going to do? Any volunteer to read the first sentence? Read it, just read it. Are you going to have a birthday party? The first is a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Now, when is your birthday exactly? It means, ¿cuándo es exactamente su cumpleaños? And then, what are you going to do? Any volunteer to answer this question? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. <laughs> uh, second question, teacher. Okay, when is, no, the first one. Are you going to have a birthday party? Va a tener una fiesta para su próximo cumpleaños? No, I am not. Ah, okay. The second, when is your birthday exactly? Uh, uh, my birthday is um, uh, May 25th. Okay, May 25th. Thank you so much. It's on May 25th. If you are not going to have a birthday party, what are you going to do? What are you going to do on that special day? Uh, you see, I'm going to I am going to work. Ya les ha tocado trabajar el día de su cumpleaños? Yes. 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 Okay, that is so sad. So no, what are you... <laughs> el mío fue domingo. Domingo cayó. Pero no le tocó trabajar ese día. You didn't work that day. No. Ah, okay, that's perfect. So what are you going to do? ¿Qué va a ser para su cumpleaños? That is the meaning of that question. What are you going to do? Let's choose another volunteer. Let's choose Cristina del Carmen. Are you going to have a birthday party? Yes, I am. Uh, when is your birthday exactly? My birthday is on September 24th. Thank you. What are you going to do? I'm going to celebrate with my friends and family. I'm going to decorate and I'm going to buy a cake and I'm decorating with balloons and candies and um, I, how do you say galletas? I forget. Cookies. Cookies and other uh, and other things. Okay, that's excellent. It sounds that it is going to be a great birthday party. Yes. Okay, are we invited? Yes, of course. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lástima que es hasta el otro año, ¿verdad? You say May. The September 24th. Oh, September. Oh, damn. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any other volunteer? Then we are going to choose a big thing then here. Emma Jamilet, can you help me, please? Are you going to have a birthday party? Okay. Uh... In my birthday, I'm going to eat pizza. ¿Cómo sería reventar piñata? <laughs> Todavía me gusta. Okay, let's write it down. So you say, give me a second. Okay, I am going to hit the piñata. 
Okay, ¿qué más? I'm going to eat pizza, you said, right? I'm going to eat pizza. Um, I'm going to buy clothes. I'm going to buy clothes. clothes. Okay, uh -huh. I'm going. I'm going to go shopping. We can say, or yeah. I'm going to buy clothes. I'm going to go shopping. Ya en el centro comercial se puede comprar zapatos, maquillaje, bien, aprovechando. Bien, bien. <laughs> I am going to go shopping. <laughs> I am going to go shopping. Very good. Thank you so much. So let's go over the next activity. Let's stay this out, please. Let's go with the next here. I have here this small conversation. We are going to listen and then we are going to practice. Just a second, I'm going to take out these notes that I made here. Oh, where's the option? Oh, here is it. Okay, we are in this. Here we go. But in this case, it is not a verb day. What is the special day? What is the special day in this conversation? St. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day. Do you celebrate this special day? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, that's interesting. So what do you do for this day? Or oh, what are you going to do for the next San Valentine Day? Está muy lejos, verdad? Pero qué generalmente hacen este día? O qué dijo usted el próximo día de San Valentín? Voy a hacer esto. I'm going to meet with friends and uh, family. Okay, that's excellent. I'm going to meet with my friends and my family. That's perfect. That is a nice plan. But let's listen in this conversation what is going to happen. Can you listen to the conversation? No, teacher. Not really. Let's give me a second then. No, listen. I'm going to share again. Okay, let's see if you can listen now. So, Tyler, are you... Can you listen now, the conversation? Yes, teacher, yes. Yeah. Are you gonna do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? Laguna's, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Now let's... Okay, now I'm so tired. Aren't you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? So this is a question, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Or oh, really, what are you going to do? Sorry, to go? Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun? Well, have a good Valentine's Day things you do. But in the listening, the expression going to, ¿cómo la escucharon? ¿Escucharon going to? No, no, yeah. contractado. Ah, okay. We heard another sound. What was the sound? Do you remember? Yeah, let's listen again. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my... Okay. 
Gonna. Gonna. Gonna, gonna right? Are you gonna do gonna anything bite. special? Are you gonna do anything special? Then the, this isn't the answer. Special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Oh, what was the answer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Let's okay. listen to the other question. Where are you gonna go? Lagoon. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she is? Let's listen to the next sentence. Yes, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What was the sentence? Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna like that. She's gonna like that. Let's listen to the next question. How about you? How about you? What are you gonna do? So, Tyler, are you gonna do anything special? Oh, the question was, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So if you want to sound a little bit more natural when you speak in English, you can use the sounds when you are talking, uh, you are using going to, to say sentences about future plans. So you can say the sound gonna, gonna. Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. I am gonna go to a dance. So who wants to try? Let's listen again the whole conversation and then we're going to practice. Escuchemos la conversación completa después. Um, I'm going to ask for some volunteer to practice in this conversation. So Tyler, are you gonna do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? Laguna's, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well. I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Now let's... Who wants to try? I need two volunteers. Who wants to try practicing in this conversation? Two volunteers? Me, teacher. Thank you. One and... Me, teacher. Thank you, Christina. Let's listen to Juan and Cristina, please. Okay. Can you start, Cristina? Okay. okay, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Okay. Yeah. Just a second. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but can you use the sound go now, please? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah. I gonna take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? What are you gonna to do? Lagunas. It is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. But um, but I gonna go to a dance. Some life, some life fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, you too. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Cristina. That was excellent. Gonna okay. The sound gonna is the contraction going to. Instead of say going to, you say gonna. So you say gonna do, gonna go. Uh, let's see what was the other one. Gonna go to a restaurant. Um, I'm gonna take my girlfriend. I'm gonna take. So instead of say going to, you say gonna. Any other volunteer who wants to practice tonight? I need two volunteers, the last two in this part. Anyone wants to participate? Emma, okay, Emma and, let me see, Emma and Fatima. Can you please start, Emma? 
Doctor okay. Taylor, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are we going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that? How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to, to a dance. Sound like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Okay, thank you so much. That was excellent. So, as you can see, the meaning doesn't change. You can say gonna or you can say going to. But if you want to sound more natural, use gonna, right? Use gonna. When speaking, gonna is more useful than going to. Okay, so look at this question. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Estaba en la conversación anterior, but what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? So to make information question, we are going to follow this structure. WH word, the verb be, subject, the expression going to, verb, complement, and the question mark. So look at this example. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What are you going to do for your birthday? What are you going to do for Christmas? What are you going to do for uh, which other holiday? Do you remember? Oh, what are you going to do for Father's Day? So here are, yes? Teacher, tengo una, una duda. Mm -hmm. Cuando, eh, bueno, por ejemplo, en la primera que dice, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Pero si yo lo sustituyo por el gonna, entonces sería, what are you gonna do? Quito yes. el tú. Sí. Porque ya va, con, ya va dentro de la contracción, gonna. Se reduce toda la expresión going to, pasa a ser gonna. So, what are gonna, you gonna es, do? Ajá, gonna do. Ah, ok. Esa what duda are tengo. you gonna do for Valentine's Day? So, you say, I'm gonna, gonna go. Ajá. Uh, I'm gonna go to a dance. I'm not uh -huh. gonna go to a restaurant. Okay. Y eh, deletreado escrito es G O W N A, verdad? Yes. Uh, ah, okay. Sí. Perfect. If you Gracias. want to write this contraction, you can do it in this way. I'm going to write here for uh -huh. you. Is this? Mm -hmm. Gonna. Exacto. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. So, where are you going to go? There is another question. Where? This question. Look at this question. Where? What is the meaning of this question? Where are you going to go? A donde irás. Donde, verdad? A donde vas a ir? Donde. So, we, we are going to go to Lagunas. We are going to go to Lagunas. We are not going to stay at home. So we have affirmative and negative sentences here in this answer. If you want to say an affirmative answer, you say, I'm gonna go. If it is negative, you have to use not after the verb be. So you say, I'm not, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. And the second example, where are you gonna go? We are gonna go to Lagunas. Or oh, we're not gonna stay home. No vamos a estar en casa. Now let's see the other question. How, look at this. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? It means, ¿Cómo va a llegar al restaurante? Are you going to drive? Are you going to take the bus? Are you going to ride your motorcycle? How are you going to get there? So in this example, we have this answer. We are going to drive. We are going to drive. We are not going to take the bus. Teacher, is cor teacher sorry. Is correct the answer. Uh, we're, uh, we're going to take a Uber. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, so we are gonna take an Uber. Uber, but okay. Um, Uber, like this one. Or a taxi, you can say a taxi, we're gonna take a taxi, we're gonna take an Uber. Uh, who's going to be there? The last question here, who's going to be there? This question is asking for a person. ¿Quién va a estar ahí? ¿Quién? ¿Quién va a estar ahí? You say, my friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. Mi hermana no va a estar ahí. Then affirmative answer, negative answer. Do you have any question in this part? Preguntas acerca de estas preguntas? What, where, how, and who? Do you have any question? No question. Cuando esté resolviendo el ejercicio, man, me escribe. And I'm going to help you. If you have any doubt. Let's go with the next. Look at this. A special holidays in the United States. Here are some United States celebrations. Any volunteer to read them? The name of the celebration. Yeah. And also, and also the day. Thank you, Juan. New Year's Day, January 1st. The next one. Me? Yes, please continue. You can continue. Thank you, Juan. Valentine's Day, February 14, 14th. What the? the next, any other volunteer? Independent Day, July 4th. Thank you. Halloween, Halloween October uh, 21. 30, 30. Thanksgiving for Thursday in November. And the last one. The last one, Christmas. Christmas, December 25th. 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 Okay, it was October 31st. October 31st. So we have New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So do we celebrate one of these here in El Salvador? El Tears Queen is the same acción de gracias. Yes. Or Dia del Pavos. That is Thanksgiving, yes. Dia del Pavo, Dia de Acción de Gracias. Dia de Gracias, New Year's Day. El Dia de Acción de Gracias celebra el cuarto jueves del mes de noviembre. Ese día celebran Thanksgiving Days. So now let's see, do we celebrate New Year's Day here in El Salvador? January 1st. Valentine's Day. Celebramos esas dos, New Year's Day and Valentine's Day. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Halloween. Yes. yes, we do. What about Independence Day? Independence Day on Independence July 4th. In El Salvador is 25th, September. September 25th. September 25th. Are 15. you sure? Oops. September 15th. 15th. Oh, 15. 15. Ah, okay. 15th. Thank you. Halloween. Do we celebrate Halloween here in El Salvador? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we do. And what about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? No, we don't. Thanksgiving, no. No, we don't, right? And Christmas? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes we do. There's the... El primero está el <laughs> Okay. Now let's see making plans. So how to make plans? Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I'm going to go to a party. I'm going to wear a Halloween costume and I'm going to ask for candies and chocolate. So look at this. I'm making plans. 
cómo vamos a hablar acerca de los planes que tenemos. Look at this example. Halloween is gonna be on October 31st. I'm gonna go to a party. I'm gonna wear a Halloween costume. I'm gonna ask for candies and chocolate. Let's see the next paragraph. Christmas. Christmas is gonna be on December 25th. I'm gonna cook a delicious dinner for my family. I'm gonna invite some friends too. We are gonna have a dancing party. So we can, we can make plans following these examples. My birthday is gonna be on May 10th. And you say, I'm gonna have a birthday party. I'm gonna bake a cake. I'm gonna buy some snacks. I'm, going, I'm gonna decorate my house. I'm gonna invite my family and some friends. So any volunteer to practice in the first paragraph? Who wants to practice? Me. Thank you, Fatima. Okay. Halloween is going or is gonna? Gonna, you can use gonna. Okay. Halloween is gonna be on October 31st. I am gonna to go to a party. I am gonna, is gonna do or gonna wear? Gonna wear. I'm gonna ah, okay. wear. Okay. I'm gonna wear a Halloween cos costume. I'm gonna ask for candy and chocolates. Thank you so much. Any volunteer to read the second paragraph? Any volunteer? Great. Thank you, Edma. Christmas is gonna be on December 25th. I am gonna cook a delicious dinner for my family. I am gonna invite some friends too. We are gonna have a dancing party. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you for your help in this part. Now let's see this other one. San Valentin Day is gonna be on February 14th. I'm gonna take my wife on a date. We are gonna visit our favorite restaurant. I am gonna buy her some beautiful roses. Are these uh, good plans? Son estos buenos planes? I'm yes. going to take my wife on yes, a date. Goodness. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant and I'm going to buy her some beautiful roses. Any volunteer to practice in this paragraph? Me, teacher. Me teacher. <laughs> and let's, okay, let's listen to Kenya first and then Juan. Thanks. Say Valentine's Day is going to be on Ferrari 14. I'm going to take my wife on a day. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant. I'm going to buy her some beautiful robes. Okay, that was almost perfect. Thank you, Kenya. Just in this part, uh, let me see. We are going to say gonna here. This is gonna. So the San Valentine's Day is gonna be Gonna be. Ya no tenemos que mencionar el tú, porque toda esta expresión se convierte en gonna. So, is gonna be. Gonna take. Gonna visit. And gonna buy. Gonna. Thank you, Kenya. Excellent job. Juan, can you please start? San Valentin Day is gonna be on February 14th. I am gonna take my wife on a date. We are gonna visit our favorite restaurant. I'm gonna buy her some beautiful roses. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you. The last volunteer in this part, who wants to practice? The last one. Nobody wins. Me, teacher. Sure. Thank you, Christina, and then Anna. 
Okay. Saint Valentine's Day is gonna be on February 14. I'm gonna take my wife on a date. We are gonna visit our favorite restaurant. I'm gonna buy her some beautiful roses. Thank you. That was perfect. Very good job. Anna, can you please start? Saint Valentine's Day is gonna be on February 14. I'm gonna take my Hi, on day, we are gonna visit our favorite restaurant. I gonna buy, buy, buy. Here's some beautiful roses. Thank you so much. Very, very good job. Yes, indeed, favorite. We are gonna visit our favorite restaurant and buy. I'm gonna bye. buy here some bye. beautiful roses. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go with the next. Here is the explanation, right? Going to reduction in pronunciation. Gonna is for informal context. And when we are speaking, right? We use gonna instead of going to in informal context especially in speaking and in some lyrics. So we are going to hear gonna just in speaking, right? And also in some lyrics. And when we are writing, we need to write going to because it's the formal way to write this expression. So here are another example. Any volunteer to read the first two example? Anyone? Are you going to have a party? Yes. The other one, please, the next. No, I'm, I'm going to go out with my friend. Okay, excellent, with a friend. Now using Gona. <coughs> Anyone in here to read this example using Gona? Your teacher. Thank you. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna, gonna go out with a friend. Thank you so much. Down the next example. Me. Thank you, Juan. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes. We're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Thank you so much. So do you have any question about this? Questions? Teacher, um, ¿es correcto ese doble tú en el, en el literal B, little B, en second sentences? The second sentence, let's see. Yes, we gonna going to go to yes the one in, that it is after oh, the very no. goal okay. mm -hmm. yes we're gonna go to nick's cafe okay nick's cafe. yes it's correct teacher yes yo lo he escuchado que le dicen guru así guru nick cafe Okay, go to Nick's Cafe. This expression, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. It is because when a consonant is between two vowels, it sounds like an R, right? Suena como una R, pero no como la R que nosotros utilizamos, sino que una R como más suave, cora, cora. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Entonces, esta T, cuando ellos están hablando rápido, ¿verdad? se escucha como una R, ¿verdad? como una especie de R. Es porque está en medio de dos vocales. Está en medio de dos sonidos de vocal. That's why. Se convierte en sonido de R. We're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, una pregunta. Cuando estamos hablando de, de Gona, que es en informal context, 
estamos hablando de que, por ejemplo, yo puedo tener una conversación con mis amigos y puedo hablar, I'm going to eh, take eh, whatever, ¿no? Eh, pero si estoy hablando con una persona a la cual no le tengo mucha confianza o respeto, tengo que utilizar el going to. O cuando voy a escribir informes formales, por ejemplo. Ahí aplicaría. O en qué contexto se aplica el que yo pueda utilizar el gonna y el going to. Muy generalmente cuando es el idioma escrito, tiene que ir en su forma formal. ¿verdad? Entonces tendríamos uh -huh. que escribir going to. Uh -huh. En el caso de cuando estamos hablando, eh, creería que no hay ningún problema si usted utiliza gonna right? en un contexto uh -huh. formal. You can use gonna. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero siempre y cuando okay. sea en un texto, usted tiene que escribir going to. Ok. Going to. Ok, perfecto. Any other question? Any question? Any question? Now let's see. Use the going to reduce sound in the following sentence. Any volunteer to read the first one? You have to use the reduce sound in the following sentences. Number one. Any volunteer to read number one? She's gonna dance at the party. The second one. Any volunteer? They are gonna tweet a lot. Oh, okay. Yes, in this one. They are gonna eat a lot. Can you please say the sentence again? They are gonna eat. We are gonna to speak. Thank you so much. With we our are, friends. We are gonna speak with our friends. Se nos olvida el dicho. Okay. El Recuerde que el tú ya no tiene que decirlo, ¿verdad? Porque la reducción es going to, se reduce a gonna. Gonna okay. speak. And then she's gonna, she's gonna dance. They are Entonces, gonna eat. La Number cuatro, she's gonna speak at the party. He's gonna sing at the party, yes. Number five. I'm gonna cut the birthday cake. Thank you so much. And the last one. I'm gonna drink wine. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna drink. I am gonna drink yes, wine. I'm gonna drink wine. Yes. No se les olvida? No. No? Okay. Perfect. Okay, now let's see. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? And, and who are you going to celebrate with? That is for your next birthday. Any volunteer to answer this question? What are you going to do for your next birthday? Where are you going to go? And who are you going to celebrate with? Con quien va a celebrar? Any volunteer for the first one? What are you gonna do? Just one, just one. And you say, I'm gonna. Me teacher. I, thank you, I'm gonna my family. <laughs> I'm gonna be with my family. Yes, that, that's cool. I'm gonna start with my family. Thank you. Any volunteer? Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Alguien va a ir a visitar algún lugar? Where are you gonna go? Yes, I'm gonna visit my parents. Okay, I'm gonna visit my parents. Very good plan. And the last one, who are you gonna celebrate with? ¿Con quién va a celebrar su próximo cumpleaños? I'm gonna uh, family. I'm gonna celebrate with my family. Family. Okay, that's excellent. Do you have any question about tonight's class? Questions? No question? Then please don't forget about the exercises on the platform. It's really important that you start working on that. Section one and section two. You have to complete them at the end of this week. 
So if you need have a, if you need any help, I'm going to be happy to help you. So you can write on the WhatsApp group and we are going to solve your problem. Then good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night, bye -bye. everyone. Good see you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Thank class. You. Thank you.